Hello boys and girls. How are you lovely PAX leaders? This story is called What Shall We Call Wibbly's Puppy by Mick Inkpen. Wibbly Pig has a new puppy. Ah, isn't he lovely? What shall we call him? He's not very big, said Tiny Pig. We should call him Tiny, just like me. It would be much funnier if we called him Big, said Big Pig. No, it wouldn't, says Tiny Pig. Yes, it would. No, it wouldn't. It's just as well that the pig twins have arrived. We should call him Patch, say the pig twins, pointing to the patches on their heads. The twins agree that Patch is an excellent name, but nobody else does. I still think Tiny's a good name. Everyone thinks and thinks and thinks and thinks, but the more they think, the more nothing happens inside their heads. Let's find Big Ears and ask him, says Wibbly Pig. He's good at thinking. What's wrong with Tiny? Pig Ears thinks for a very long time. He thinks for so long, the puppy wanders off and does a little poo, and then he falls asleep. At last, Pig Ears speaks. He's got nice sticky up ears, says Pig Ears. Why not call him Ears? It is the worst suggestion yet. Oh dear. Spotty Pig arrives. But before he can say anything, everyone says, we are not going to call him Spot. Besides, it's been done before. So what are we going to call him? Can't anyone think of a good name? I can. Along comes Scruffy Pig. I like your new puppy, says Scruffy Pig. We all stare at Scruffy Pig, and we all stare at the new puppy. Look at them! Look! They're identical! The same. I don't know what identical means. It means he's exactly the same, says Scruffy Pig. Exactly the same as me! And my name is Scruffy, so we should call him Scruffy too. Scruffy too, oh sorry. Scruffy too, says Wibbly Pig. That's what we'll call him. It's better than Tiny. It's better than Big. It's better than Patch or Ears or Spot. It's perfect, says Wibbly Pig. Woof! says Scruffy too.